Ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourselves for the one and only World Improv Network comedy show on Mile High Sports Radio. Take part in the show by giving your suggestions or questions to the cast for each show segment throughout the week or live during the show by hitting them up on Facebook at World Improv Network, on Twitter at World Improv Net, or by calling in to Mile High Sports Radio studio line. Now, enjoy the show. <laughs> It's local. It's global. You're listening to Win World Local News. Win World Local News on Mile High Sports Radio. I'm Potter Smith. Breaking news into the Win World Local News sports desk from Win Sports reporter Tasha Topspin, who's live at the Rio Summer Olympics in Brazil for the gold medal match of the men's manicure. How's the hotly contested finger final looking, Tasha? And who's favored to win the gold? Thanks, Potter. Um, we've got Johnny Appleseed, who has been just running those cuticles down to the bit. He has been just starting with that top coat, and we're going there right now. He's he's on his last finger, and he's and he's all he's got to do is beat. Mark Anthony and they are he had a great run he started with a glitter top coat and everyone knows that Russia is big on glitter and this is American Jennifer Albright and she she has been nailing it you guys like nailing it pun intended obviously <laughs> um, okay We've got a few more seconds left, and Johnny Appleseed has taken the gold for Georgia, the country, people, not the state. All right, back to you, Potter. Wow, thank you. Thank you so much, Tasha, for that excellent reporting. Maybe one day I can be in the men's manicure final as well. On to our next breaking story, which is brought to us by wind contributor Rolanda of New York, New York. Days after a man scaled the Trump Tower in Manhattan with suction cups, in order to have a private rendezvous with President hopeful Donald Trump, Harley Quinn, star of Suicide Squad, completed her break-in of the Clinton residence to discuss global domination matters with Hillary Clinton. To get the full psychoanalysis of the story, let's go live to win presidential campaign correspondent Kevin Spacey, who's at the Clinton Farmhouse in Chappaqua, New York. Hey, Kevin? Uh, yeah, hello. Um... As you can tell, this is a wild environment, to say the least. And it has been a wild environment inside the Clinton household as well. Now, uh, I am not supposed to be too loud right now because uh, I am actually in a Foxborough. Uh, and I'm actually nestled up to the mother fox right now. Uh, because this is, in a sense, a, a, a metaphor for what is going on in the Clinton household, there is an intruder. In this case, I am the intruder in the in the fox, in the Foxborough. But I, but at the same time, we're getting along pretty well, and that's the scary part. I mean, it's not scary for me. I mean, I am slightly scared. But at the same time, Harley Quinn, uh, one of the members of the Suicide Squad, accomplice, uh, the other half to the Madman known as the Joker, as we all know. Uh, oh, sorry. Sorry, Suzanne. I, I started naming the foxes. Uh, the mother is Suzanne, and uh, uh, this little fella, you can't see him, but uh, uh, he, he's only got one eye, and, and uh, uh, I, I call him Squid. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's kind of an affectionate uh, term. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, not, uh, and this is just a, a further complication of things as, as, as the Clinton household gets more and more comfortable and familiar with the members of the Suicide Squad. Oh, jeez! There's a lot of birds around here. Jeez Louise. I mean, I, you know, honestly, Potter, I don't really prefer to be outdoors in the wilderness, but, uh, you know, I could get used to it, uh, you know, living with some foxes. Oh, oh boy, wow. It looks like uh, George, he, I, I call him George, uh, he's the, the father of the family. He just brought back a couple dead uh, squirrels for us to be eating tonight. So we're going to be eating real well. Me, Suzanne, Squid, Henry, uh, Billy Bob, and uh, Plunker. Uh, back to you, Potter. Well, 
Great, great, excellent reporting, Kevin, on that presidential campaign. Well, moving on to our next top story, brought to us by wind contributor Lucas of London, England. Tragedy has struck planet Earth as the legendary galaxy guarding robot R2-D2 has sadly passed at the human age of 81. Will anyone be able to replace the Star Wars stalwart and dearest defender of the light side of the Force? And how is the New Republic dealing with his passing? Well, to ascertain all the details of the story, let's go live to win intergalactic affairs reporter, Princess Lee, who's in a galaxy far, far away. Princess Lee? Thank you, Potter. I'm here on I-25, um, and it's a galaxy far, far away, and I'm just stopping cars to see how they feel about the passing of R2-D2. I've got a- Get out of the road! Oh. Jesus, no, they're happy for me. They're happy to have me here. Um, I would, I would, I have one pulled over right here. I would like to um, introduce John of um, Pueblo. How are you handling this passing, John? Oh man, I just, he was, he was the little guy. You know, he made things work. You know, he was, he was the run of the litter, and uh, but he, he also provided the comedic relief. You know, he. He really represented the little guy, you know, and in, 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 in inside of me and, and everywhere else. And how do you think that the this franchise is going to be able to move forward? I just hope that they, you know, that they they pay homage uh, to R two D two, and uh, they they you know that they don't come up with some hackney, you know, R two D two sequel kind of not R two D two thing. You know, I just can't deal with that. <laughs> Oh, okay. All right. Thanks, John. I got to um, go to work. Yeah, yeah. Keep it moving, buddy. All right. I got I got Stan here. Um, and Stan, how do you think about the news that just broke um, that they're going to kill him off in the movies as well? I think that's an absolutely preposterous. How are you going to kill off the guy when you should just have him run over a landmine to blow up in like CGI or something? Can't really kill him. He's dead. Yes, they definitely could find someone else to make the beeping noises, but, um... My grandma, my grandma can do it! Oh. Is there any way you can talk to them about it? I will, I'll talk to someone about that. Um, alright, you guys, we have one more guest. Keep it moving, keep it moving. We've got one more trucker. That's, that's... What are your thoughts, sir? Uh, I am a very big fan of Star Trek. Um, uh, particularly um, the next generation. Uh, it's actually Star um, Wars, sir. Sorry? Star, Star Wars. Star Wars. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm not familiar with that. Okay. All righty. Well, um, that's all I have on the side of the highway. Back to you, Potter. That is definitely a galaxy far, far away on I-25. Well, now look for the global weather. And let's check in with Tulip Sunspring, who's at the Chinese Theater in Hollywood, California, for a sausage party. How's the weather in the sausage, Tulip? <laughs> Um, hello, Potter. Yes, uh, the festivities are uh, turned to the max. Uh, there are grills um, up and down the streets. People are carrying uh, buns in hand. Uh, I am abstaining from any uh, sausage myself. I have decided to treat my body and the earth better by not having meat. Uh, I have received zero harassment about it, which I'm very thankful for, nor should I. Uh, you know, the climate here in Los Angeles is smoggy, and I think that clogs people's pores. It, the smoke goes up into their into their nasal cavities, and then it, uh, it intoxicates people's brains. Um, but I've met a lot of friendly people. Uh, this is uh, Grill Master Mike, uh, Mike Box. Hello. Mike Box. Me. Uh, uh, you uh, have a mantra when it comes to grilling. Could you maybe say what that is? Stuff it fast and eat it slow. Stuff it fast? Was that... Stuff it fast and eat it slow. And that, uh, I think, sums up the condition of the world, to be honest, uh, in the weather. Back to you, Potter. Well, thank you, Tula, for that excellent report on the weather. And thank you all for tuning in to Win World Local News on Mile High Sports Radio. I'm Potter Smiths. Stay tuned for Community Court next on the World Improv Network. Give the Wincast your suggestions via Facebook, Twitter, or by calling into the Mile High Sports Radio studio line during the break for a case that needs to be tackled during Community Court next on Mile High Sports Radio.